Cindy Lansfield, S I N D N E Y Lansfield. Cindy Lansfield. Now, Cindy Lansfield with the television programs. His star of the Walk of Fame is for the category of motion pictures located at 6101 Hollywood Boulevard. That's between Hollywood and Gower at Hollywood and Argyle. Now, the one-time musician's first directing job was for the Film Corporation in 1930. He went on to direct a number of films for the 20th Century Fox. By 1941, he directed Fred Astaire film, You'll Never Get Rich, for Columbia Pictures, then moved on to Paramount Pictures. The landfill worked on a number of film comedies. Uh, he is probably best remembered for directing Bob Hope in a number of films, including My Favorite Blonde, Let's Face It, uh, Where There's Life, and The Lemon Drop Kid. Lansfield's most profitable film, however, was the first team of, uh, of Basil Ross Barn and Nigel uh, Bruce as Holmes and Watson in 1939 The Hound and the Bastables. By the, by the early 1950s, the reputedly strict Taskmaster director moved to television where his vaudeville and comedian background films were put to use on television comedies, including McHale's Navy and the Adams Family. Doo -doo. Now, he was born on April 20th, 1998, and died June 20th, 1972. He was 74. Uh, he was married to Shirley Mason from 1927 to 1972, <coughs> and he's buried at the Westwood Memorial Park Cemetery in Los Angeles. Now, Sidney Lightfoot uh, was an American actor, a film director known for directing romances and light comedy films and later uh, television programs. A one-time jazz musician and pavilion star started his first directing job for the Fox Film Corporation in 1930. And he went on to direct Fred Astaire film, You Can Never Get It Rich. You'll Never Get Rich for Columbia Pictures before moving on to Paramount Pictures. Hollywood says you know what to do with that subscribe button, notification bell, and leave a comment. Let us know what you think, what you want to see. Hollywood says, remember, every star has a story on Hollywood Walk of Fame. Celebrity home tours, celebrity gravesite tours, film locations, and, of course, Hollywood history. Hollywood says, don't forget.